Hey, my name is Ryan Martin, and I'm a psychologist and an anger researcher at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. And I am going to, for today's daily distraction, uh, tell you five random, or relatively random facts about anger, all based on empirical studies. I'm also going to do this from random places throughout my house because. That's what I do during the uh, quarantine as I wander around my house a little bit aimlessly and work from wherever I am. So here we go. Okay, fact number one, people really do associate anger with the color red. Um, this, according to a 2013 study by Young and colleagues in the Journal of Emotion, found that seeing red isn't just an expression. The color red really does influence whether or not we perceive anger in particular situations. The authors actually found that participants were more likely to perceive anger in faces when there was a red background behind them. And here's the thing, that effect, it didn't, they didn't find this when they looked at other you know, uh, purportedly negative emotions like fear and things like that. Okay, so fact number two is that feelings of entitlement explain anger at God. So we've actually known for a long time that people get angry with God, uh, especially when they have suffered some sort of loss. But this 2013 study in uh, Psychology of Religion and Spirituality uh, by Grubbs, Exline, and Campbell, uh, they actually looked at who's most likely to get angry at God. And what they found is that it was predicted by entitlement. So what is entitlement? Well, it's the belief that one deserves more than others. And what the authors found or argue is that these feelings of deservingness led to more intense perceptions of having been wronged when they don't get what they want. So that entitlement, those feelings of deservingness led to anger at God. All right, so fact number three is that anger influences how we consume political information. In this 2012 study in the Journal of Politics, an author by the name of Ryan, no relation, uh, found that people using Facebook were more than twice as likely to click on a political advertisement designed to evoke anger than they were a more neutral message. In other words, when it comes to politics, people actively seek out things that make them mad. Random anger fact number four is that angry people see guns where there are no guns. This according to a 2010 study in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology by Bauman and Destaino. Um, basically, the researchers induced various mood states and asked participants to quickly identify whether or not an object was a gun. They found that participants who were angry perceived the situation incorrectly by assuming a pictured person had a weapon when he or she did not. All right, and finally, uh, fact number five is that anger can be used to make us more productive and more creative. So this 2010 study by Van Cleef in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology basically found that someone becoming angry with you will motivate you to work in more creative ways. They found that people would react in one of two ways when people were angry at them. Way number one is that they would get angry themselves, right? So a person gets mad at me and then I get angry back. Way number two is actually finding ways to, ref to, to work more productively and work more creatively uh, in, in response to that. Now they said that the key is what they call epistemic motivation. And this is the person's motivation to reflect on the world around them in a deep and intense way. So those with that sort of epistemic motivation were more likely to improve their performance after experiencing someone else's anger. All right, that is all I've got for these anger facts. I hope you found them sufficiently distracting. Uh, if you want to know more anger facts, you can go to my website, alltheragescience.com. You can also follow me on Facebook at All The Rage Science. And if you want to see anger facts coupled with some really, really terrible dad jokes, you can follow me on Twitter at Rye C. Mart. Until next time, I hope you take care.